asked her about the Trump-Russia collusion hoax, told her to look the audience in the eye and apologize to them. Just like I'll tell you, you're part of the mainstream media, dis despite pretending like you're not. Look the audience in the eye oh, and tell I'm part them how you covered your brother for all that happened. <laughs> I'm Absolutely. part of the mainstream you media. And you, and you, hey, listen. And you play the listen, same games that the you, rest of the mainstream you media does. You don't want to take care of you're your doing family? It tonight. That's you're, fine. You've been, Vivek, you have been, you have been covering for your you brother. Think, you have been playing you, a game. You were kicked off the air from my brother. Of course I helped my oh brother. Oh my God. What is good, YouTube family? It's your boy, Shout with the Black Anomaly Rising channel. Yo, Vivek Ramaswamy, he's back to wreak more havoc. He's at it again. He's not done cooking yet, okay? Chris Cuomo, if y'all remember him, this man was disgraced for essentially protecting his brother, Andrew Cuomo, from all of the corruption that he had going down in New York. CNN anchor Chris Cuomo has been fired. The network says that it terminated Cuomo after a review by a law firm. And a former female colleague has now come forward accusing Chris Cuomo of sexual misconduct. He denies any wrongdoing. Cuomo's termination comes on the heels of text messages released by the New York Attorney General's office last week, which show the primetime host used his media connections to help prepare his brother as accusers came forward. Messaging the former governor's top aide saying, please let me help with the prep. Giving advice on statements and checking with sources on potential news stories coming out against the then governor. Cuomo had previously acknowledged his involvement on air. When my brother's situation became turbulent, being looped into calls with other friends of his and advisors that did include some of his staff, I understand why that was a problem for CNN. It will not happen again. If y'all remember Andrew Cuomo, this man was on TV during COVID, just straight up shilling and capping, constantly virtue signaling, just out of the wazoo, pretending as though he cared about human lives and that either conservatives or anybody who didn't want to wear masks and do vaccine mandates or whatever the hell they wanted to do was just some sort of evil human being. This was Andrew Cuomo and his brother, was busted covering for his ass, okay? So now Vivek Ramaswamy has come with some heat. He got the dragon fire breath ready for Chris Cuomo. I'm sure he gonna give it to him. I've not seen this clip, but I've seen it circulating. And oh yeah, it's probably nasty. It's probably nasty. Let's see if Vivek gonna hand and cook this man. Let's get it. Ramaswamy, why do you keep going at Nikki Haley? Why do you think this is going to bear fruit? Chris, I don't know what you've been smoking, man. You and the rest of the mainstream media. What? It's laughable. Nikki Haley's been going after me the whole campaign. First what? debate, second debate. You know, she's been trailing me for much of the time, but I realize the establishment media has realized that there's a puppet they want to put up. I'm not playing that game. The grassroots of this country know they want a leader who isn't going to send us our sons and daughters to go die in foreign wars that racked up $7 trillion in debt. Dick Cheney 2.0 yeah. taken over the GOP. Problem is the Democratic establishment media is now rooting for war, too. Facts. I'm the only candidate speaking for a true America First agenda on that debate stage, and I think we're going to be successful. Vivek, how are you going to bring people together when you just uh, put yeah. together a tapestry of conspiracies? You know that I'm not pitching anything about Nikki what, what are you she talking about? come I mean, on my a, show. A, there's no tapestry. She won't even come on there's my no show. There's no tapestry of conspiracies. About that I'm sure she doesn't. Second. Hold on a second. I let you I let you put it out there, and now, you know, I get to finish smoking, and uh, now I get to answer, which is, um, oh, this is what the media is doing, is putting up Nikki Haley well, against me because the they know I'm doing. the real they, deal. Picked. Please. She That's, hasn't even been the, on my show. Picked, Chris, I'm just please. watching you get you know slapped what? I, around I, I by her, Kristen and I'm Wilker. wondering what I, your strategy you know, is. The fact of the matter is, Chris, that my strategy is calling out the mainstream media like I did to Kristen Welker at the start of that debate. I asked her about the Trump-Russia collusion hoax, told her to look the audience in the eye and apologize to them. Just like I'll tell you, you're part of the mainstream media dis despite pretending like you're not. Look the audience in the eye oh, and tell I'm part them how you're covered for your brother. For all that happened, I'm part of the mainstream you media. And you, and you, hey, listen. And you play the listen, same games that the you, rest of the mainstream media does. You don't want to take care of you're your family? You're doing it tonight. That's fine. You're, you've been, Vivek, you have been, you have been covering for your you brother. You have been... Playing you, a game, uh, you were kicked off of CNN. For my brother. So the, of course, I helped my, <laughs> oh my brother. My God, of course and, and, I do. And you know what? That's been journalistic standards that have now been failed, not just by you, but by every member of the broken political media. So yes, it is going to so take an outsider. So everyone in the media, out. Vivek, and you want to look everyone at everyone in the media. Well, what, what Vivek, the oh my God, Vivek is cooking so hard. It's like my brain is. Like, I can't keep up. I feel almost like I'm getting attacked. Like Vivek, stop it. He's just a boy. 
Stop it, Vivek. I can't even make it through this damn thing because he's, he's cooking so hard. It's hot in here. <sighs> help me, help me, please. That's what Chris is saying right now. He needs some help. But you see, he's trying to go at him. See, Chris is already disgraced. He got let go from CNN and then it was acting like he wanted to go on a freaking killing spree <laughs> because he was so upset that he got let go from there. I have learned to accept it. I had to accept because I was going to kill everybody. Uh, including myself. Things can consume you. Italians are so passionate. And I really had to fight against that because, you know, just like you did, I got too many people counting on me. Which is just crazy. But hold on, let me, let me compose myself and let me see what they're talking about because they're literally just bickering back and forth at this point. But... D technically they're right like why are people trying to protect nikki haley i'm so confused like nikki haley first off she's conservative or at least pretending like she is or whatever and she definitely has that kind of warmongering type conservative value so i'm kind of confused and nikki haley did come after vivek really hard two debates in a row so he's just he's just putting it out there he pretty much just came ready to, to the debate he tried to play mr nice guy the first two times it didn't work so he came ready to damn put his foot up her ass in the last debate. What's the problem? You're, You're doing family? it tonight. That's fine. You're, You've been, Vivek, you have been, you I'm have been covering for your you brother. Think... You have been playing you, a game. You were kicked off CNN. Of course I covered for my brother. So the, of course the, I helped my brother. The, yeah. Of course and, I do. And you know what? That's been journalistic standards that have now been failed, not just by you, but by every member of the broken political media. So yes, it is going to so take an outsider to call it out. everyone in the media? And you want to look Everyone at Everyone in the media well, most is the responsible for covering okay. for my brother? See what I'm saying? 90%, you, you miss, 90 you of miss the media the is colluding by with going respect too broad. to pushing one, one answer Vivek. on the American public for the origin of COVID-19 to the Hunter Biden laptop story what to now which people they decide they want to put up as their puppets what to take on Donald Trump. What does any of that have to do? That's just the matter. Look, Vivek. You can talk what has a lot, to do with it is that mainstream not, media is setting and, the terms of the actual debates anything. in this country. Okay? You can talk a lot, but not necessarily be saying anything that's worthwhile. You would know a lot Here's about that. Ah, I've been listening to you. Ah, Nikki, you good Haley, Nikki Haley keeps kicking your ass in these debates. What? Why I, according to the left-wing media. Someone yeah, what? Else. what? Freaking... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Y'all not see this little Vivek Ramaswamy literally hit her with the freaking Thanos glove with the, all of the gems in the glove, man. <laughs> She's obliterated, turned to dust. That's what happened to Nikki Haley in the last debate. What is Chris talking about? This is, this is what delusion looks like. It is insane. I think he's, he, he must just be mad because he brought up his brother or something because this, it don't make no sense at this point. You can break. You turn on social media, you understand. People should watch that debate. I went to New Hampshire. People were laughing at the idea of the mainstream media's coverage of the New York Times columnists and people like you who belong there with one narrative because you have some identity politic vision of what you think a leader of this country should Nikki look like. Nikki Haley when in fact is the my Trojan horse. This country understand well the fact of the matter is you guys are, have made a career out of deciding that the america first agenda is not the future of this country kick that out of the republican party put a genteel version that you can control as your little puppet so you american politics looks the way you want it to and yes many people Look, you know what we don't need a republican party leader who itself is a wholly owned subsidiary of boeing which itself is a wholly owned subsidiary of the democratic party masquerading as a republican Vivek, so i there's do think a reason that, real that she is beating you in the polls is a problem there's there, a problem for the last for the last six the, weeks and and before that it was the next six months before that the fact of the matter yeah, is by one front runner in this and race was 60 the points ahead of everybody that's donald that's trump the change who we should talk that about you gotta how figure out actually have a different leader the change Listen, i'm going to figure out is you're this. not going you're not going to have, have a generational leader if he wants to be the guy in the gop he'll be the guy well yeah, the but leader, all you're doing is playing look, to the divide vivek you're not bringing anybody chris together. i'm not playing to the divide i'm actually playing to Nobody's reaching. You're Chris, playing a Chris, baby I don't know Trump what the game. Point, what, your, what the point of your actual interview is if you're not actually interested in getting answers it's to, to say, hard questions? Stop Here's the being answer. negative Chris, and attacking people and offer something to people Chris, that's I'm not positive here to, 
and that promotes something. I am offering, if, if across this country, the grassroots of this country, we are offering a vision of what we stand for as Americans. Nobody's reaching young people in this race like I am. I've been to more college campuses than any Republican in the history of our party, bringing in young people in droves, 40% of the 100,000 plus, 150,000 plus donors that have come into this campaign are first time ever donors to the GOP. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Vivek is freaking smoking this dude. All right, this is horrific. Like, I can't believe. Why do people keep agreeing to this? Like, Vivek pretty much smokes everybody anytime that he's talking to. It seemed like Vivek, here's the thing I think people thought about him. He came in looking to gain friends and be nice. And it seems like once he got to a certain point, then he just he just started showing his fangs, you know, because people was kind of trying to, they was trying to kind of railroad him and bulldoze him. And he's basically proving to him that you can't do that. Like I have the actual facts on my side and I'm going to expose y'all. So here's what other people try to do, including uh, Chris and Andrew, like both the Cuomo family is probably all just a bunch of crooks. If you couldn't tell by now, but here's essentially what they try to do. Basically they try to, give people information and I, I, I've seen it done and it's, unfortunately it's pretty easy to do. Basically if somebody's just totally ignorant on a subject, you give them enough information that is truthful and then you sprinkle in whatever lies that you want, you leave certain things out and people feel like they're getting very well educated but the reality is that the majority of the time they're just getting 101 the very bare minimum basics uh, or just getting outright lied to entirely, like with the Hunter Biden laptop story and pretending as though that was fake news from Russia. Uh, Donald Trump collusion with Russia. That, that being just totally uh, fake from the beginning. Uh, COVID-19, what Vivek just brought up in the origins of that, how they were acting like this, that they didn't know whether or not it came from China and Donald Trump was evil and racist for calling it the Chinese virus, even though it's literally from China and now everybody admits all of the things that common sense people knew was true from the beginning. Now, all of a sudden, they're coming out and admitting it. And as you can see, this man is still has the audacity to call these things conspiracy theories. He's like, oh, it's conspiracy theory that now people are trying to protect Nikki Haley. I've seen, even though I haven't reacted to all of it, I've seen clip after clip after clip where people like, Oh man, Vivek, you were so mean to Nikki Haley. And I'm like, where the hell were y'all in the first two debates? Everybody was hooting and hollering, uh, 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 like clapping for Nikki Haley for for essentially uh, you know, digging up Vivek's booty in the first two debates. Now all of a sudden, Vivek, you were a little too hard on her. I'm like, man, shut y'all dumbass up. Like Vivek Ramaswamy, keep on cooking. It's almost Thanksgiving time, and I'm hungry, baby. Let's get it. So Vivek 2028, all right? He's not going to win this time. It's going to be Trump. But Vivek 2028, let's get it, baby. I'm a, I am got to go ahead and put in an order for my MAGA hat. Okay, I do not have one, but I will damn sure be getting one. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching Black and Only. Rise. I'm out.